So, a Metroidvania is a game where you go back to the same area multiple times, basically. The first time you go through that area, you just leave. The second time, you find a different exit, because each time you have new abilities when you come back to it, basically. But this video is about, like, the best Metroidvanias and stuff. Metroid is not very good. It made sense for its time, because, like, no video games that old are good, like, at all. Like, Ridley? This is a Ridley amiibo. Uh, ripped off of its base, and also his nose is missing for some reason. Uh, I don't know why his nose is missing, but he was ripped off his base to make this Chicken Man amiibo. It actually works as Ridley. But what's even better than Metroid is Super Metroid. So, Super Metroid was created a bit after Metroid, and it's way better, like 10 times better. It was, It's not a good game, because I could never figure out how to beat it, but for its time, it was good. The only other Metroid game I've played is Metroid Dread, and that is like the best Metroid game ever. It looks good, it plays good, I really like the Emmy characters, the robot guys, and it's like, I don't know, it just has like everything good about a video game, except the story I don't care for but it looks cool. I don't know the story, but it looks cool when it's explaining the story, so that's good enough. So yeah, Metroid Dread is like one of the best game modes. So like, Metroid Dread is one of the best video games ever, not just Metroidvanias. But Shovel Knight is not a Metroidvania. I remember hearing somewhere that it is, and if I Google it, it says it's not a Metroidvania, but when I think of Metroidvanias, I think of Shovel Knight. So, it counts as a Metroidvania to me, even though it's not one at all. It's fine. Shovel Knight sucks. Like, not even just as a Metroidvania, just in general. It's a bad game. Um. You have a shovel, and you're, like, beating up a bunch of enemies. But it's so hard to move, because all you can do is... The same thing over and over again. And the story's not even good. I don't know what the story even is. Like, Mario is, like, 80 times older, and it's also 80 times better. So, Ori and the Will of the Wisps is so bad. Like, the game idea is good. Like, you are, like, swinging around as, like, a little monkey thing, hitting a bunch of animals. But that just doesn't work, because it's just confusing. I am... I am literally at, like, the last part of the game. Find the five hidden wisps, and I have four of them, and I can't figure out how to get the fifth, because the game just doesn't make sense at all. I don't know why they tried so hard on the graphics when they never even fixed the main game in the first place. Finally, Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is just a good game. I do not care, low battery remaining. I don't care. But the good part of this game isn't the Metroidvania or, like, the map or anything. I think it's the combat, because, like, um, Little Bug fights Big Bugs. It's pretty cool. Video games, I like simpler combat. Like, this is another reason why I don't like Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I don't know what I'm doing. If I put down the game for, like, too long, I just don't know. I don't know any muscle memory. I don't know how to do an outro, but the moral of the video is, um... Hollow Knight is good, Metroid Dread is gooder, and more video games should have a grabbing mechanic.